And now to something that you may be planning on snacking on today, energy bars. Consumer Reports says two-thirds of Americans do eat them, but not all of those energy bars are created equal. This morning, they're in your pantry, in your car, maybe even in your purse. But Consumer Reports, a nonprofit membership organization, saying energy bars might not be as healthy an option as most Americans think. The report testing 33 popular bars, analyzing such factors as fat, sugars, and protein. If you're not careful in choosing one, you might end up with one that's not so much better than a candy bar. Branded for their convenient nutrition, how do you know if the bar you're eating is actually good for you? Turn the bar over, read the ingredients, check the nutrition facts label. And I'm joined now by Dr. Ian Smith. He's the author of The Clean 20. And Doc, energy bars, everybody loves a good energy bar, but Consumer Report, they tested 33 bars to find out which ones are the most satisfying, and also which ones are the best for you, and what were the results? Well, everyone wants to know, I eat them a lot, you eat them a lot, so here we go, voila. Okay, so the Kind Bar oh. um, was actually number two. Um, as far as being number one. So first, it was the uh, pure organic wild berry and fruit, which is here. Okay. Uh, fruit and nut bar. Then two was the kind plus cranberry almond and antioxidants with macadamia, which I like, by the way. And three, by the way, so popular, we couldn't even find it in New York, uh, was the Nature's Path Organic Superfood Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Snacks. Say that 10 times. They're sold out, I guess. Sold yeah, out. Sold, sold out, out. Yes. So these... These were the winner of the 33, which is very important. And, and sometimes when you look for an energy bar, I like to read the label. There's so many words that I don't even try to pronounce. So when you're looking at a label or energy bar, what are you looking for? Okay, four things basically: fiber, protein, calories, and sugar. But let's stick with okay. the let's look at the, with the first three. Okay. So for calories, between 150 and 200 calories. For your fiber, about three grams of fiber. Okay. And for protein, three to six grams of protein, protein. per bar. Okay. The sugars make a difference, but we'll talk about it later. In fact, I want to see if you can actually pronounce some of these some of these names that we have up Throw here. Throw that test at me. What okay. Let's see if you can do it. And hydros dextrose disaturide <laughs> maltodextrin. Uh, yeah, 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 baby. So okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Now, I can say them. I don't know what they mean. I was going to say, what do they mean? So, I have no idea. Okay, these are all added sugars, and you want to try to avoid ah. added sugars. And not just added sugars, but they also put things like soy protein isolate. You see in all these different things to get your protein. Chicory root to get your fiber. Companies do this, and these are sometimes very processed ingredients. So we don't want processed ingredients. What we want is... We want what? Woo! The real stuff. Real deal. Yeah, there must be real food you yes. can eat. There's tons of sugar and, mm -hmm. and fiber and, and, and fruit. Uh, there's uh, protein and nuts. So you want nuts, seeds. This is what you really want it to do. If it has this, it's all natural. You understand it. You can pronounce it. Okay. Does that make sense? And so there are also regular foods you can eat to kind of make up for what you're missing. Energy bar, but the energy bar, you throw them in a bag. There's some things at home you can just take with you as well. You're on the go. Listen, protein and fiber combination is what you want. Makes you feel full longer. Okay, so in the morning, some hard-boiled eggs, some multi-grain crackers are awesome. Sometimes you want that midday snack. Mm -hmm. Once again, protein and fiber with a little sweet, okay? Yeah, the chocolate chips. Yeah, so we have a little chocolate chip, some blueberries, some, um, some cereal, okay, okay a little, some fiber syrup, and also some yogurt, some Greek yogurt, maybe organic, 100% organic yogurt is great. But also, you work out, we work out a lot. You want your pre-workout, your post-workout. Try something like dates. Mm -hmm. um, they're great. They give you those fast carbs for okay. working out. And also, maybe like a whole grain or whole wheat tortilla, a little almond butter, and some bananas. All right, our audience like that. They're right. Paula Ferris is over there going, yeah, I yeah. like that a lot. <laughs> All right, Doc, appreciate it. All right, man. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.